In this tutorial in Tidler Pro, we're going to look at how to rotate and resize an image that you bring in to your title using keyframes. I'm using Tidler Pro version 1.5, which came bundled with my copy of PowerDirector. You may have a different version, but you'll find the same tools in one form or another. In version 1.5, I click on the File menu at the upper left corner and choose Import Image. I'm going to choose the baseball, and now I've imported it into my copy. Here it just is labeled Shape in version 1.5. If I click on it, I'll see the green bounding box with the handles. I want my baseball to start not in the center of the screen, but on the left side. And so I'll position it manually with the mouse just about here. Now let's assume I want the ball to move from the left side to the right side of the screen. I do that with a keyframe. A keyframe basically is a moment in time, a frame inside your title that records the specific information about that particular object. So I'm going to click on Turn on Keyframing and it will set a keyframe in the left side of my highlighted track, my ball, and it automatically inherits the, the, the uh, features that were part of it here, the size, rotation, position, everything. Now, if I go ahead and play this, nothing will happen because I only have one keyframe and these attributes are uh, echoed through the rest of the entire title. So what I need to do is create a second keyframe. So to do that, I can move my timeline indicator anywhere I want. I'll go to the end, or near the end here, and then I will click above the keyframe rectangle at the bottom, the plus button. It will add a keyframe, and it numbered it keyframe two. It will sequentially number from left to right. Now, right now, if I play this, nothing happens again. And you may think, well, you're wasting your time. You don't see anything. But what I'm going to do is move to keyframe two. And the easiest way I've found is to click on the keyframe ID in the box here. And the, the, uh, the playhead moves over there. And now on keyframe two, I'm going to change the position. The X is the horizontal, so instead of moving it with a mouse, I want to get it perfectly horizontal. I, see, I don't want to change the Y factor, which is up and down. I will just go ahead and slide this using the slider over here, and we'll position it right about there. So that is the one uh, attribute I've changed between this point in time and the second, and now when I play it, it will slide the ball from the left to the right between those two keyframes. And I can change the second keyframe and simply by clicking on it and dragging it. And I can move it to another position. And in this case, what will happen, it will, it will slide to that end position and then freeze because there's no other keyframe to take over there. The controls at the last keyframe prevail for the rest of the title. But it makes sense to put it at the end of my title, so we'll go ahead and do that. Now, with my second keyframe highlighted, I'm going to click on keyframe 2 again. I want to do something else. It slides, but it doesn't roll. So to, to roll, I need to add rotation. So at the point of the second keyframe, I'm going to change another attribute. Okay, I'll set my Z scale, and I'll go this way, 360. That's a full rotation. So now when I go ahead and play this, it starts there, and it looks like it's rolling to my second location. Let me give you a third attribute you can change. I can go to keyframe two. Let's say I don't want it to roll, I want it to fly. So now I'm going to also change, not my X size, but I also want to change my Y scale. So with my highlight on keyframe two, I'm going to take my position and move it up to the top. 
And now when I go ahead and play it, there it goes. Now you notice uh, I should have baseball in front of this so the white behind the ball doesn't get in the way. And I can change that pretty easily. All I need to do in this case would be to take baseball game and put it up there. And now it, it should rotate okay, behind the, the baseball game. There we go. The other thing I can do on my baseball when I go to keyframe 2 is I can also resize it. Now my rotation is a minus 360, but now I'm going to shrink it down. And so I click on, I'm going to lock the scale, X, Y, and Z, and then I'm going to lower this to virtually invisible. And now when I go ahead and play this, it will rotate and it will fly out of sight. I've done all this with only two keyframes, changing several features, the size, rotation, and the X, Y coordinates of my object. That's as simple as it is to use keyframes to begin to impact the way objects look in Tyler Pro.